Okay, so we're back and we're ready to start the next phase. Uh, we'll be mounting on the wheels, the supporting brackets or the supporting uh, pillars for the upper bases, and the uh, wheel hubs. These will be mounted to the motor brackets that we've already put here, as well as these. So this is basically going to go in there as such, and it'll be used to actually give the uh, robot kit its motion. So we're ready to start off. First step will be to mount the wheel hubs. So these look pretty straightforward. They have all the required screws in place already. We're going to need to use a Phillips head to actually secure these, but you basically just will be slipping it in, slipping it in there, and then just uh, tightening it up. Now one thing to take note of, and notice how I align this a certain way, I aligned it so one of the screws would be in place with the actual ridge that's on the axle. They usually cut into the axle in a little flat piece, and that's to give it a good, good uh, spot where the screw for the hub can actually screw in and, you know, and be sturdy and hold that axle in place. Otherwise, what will happen is that axle will just spin out of control, and the hub itself won't be able to uh, won't be able to hold itself to the. See, so you notice how it gives you that wiggle room there. That is by design. Let me just kind of unscrew this here. Let's check it out again. So we just realized that that was going in all the way. So this actually has to go in. It's got to fit into the hub. So what we're going to do is we're going to loosen this hub just a smidge. To give it a little bit of wiggle room. There you go. So now it's slipped all the way in. Let's give it a good turn there. All right. There we go. Now let's tighten up this hub again. There we go. So that moves about freely. Now let's do the second one. This time what we're going to do, we're just going to loosen it ahead of time. It doesn't have to be loosened all the way, just enough to give us the wiggle room that we need in order to get the uh, hub in place. All right. So again, just to backtrack again one more time, loosen the hub or the bearings before you actually put this in. You 
That way you can slip this in all the way into the bearing and then tighten this on here after the fact. Now, yep, that's turning the motor all right. You can hear it, it'll sound like a motor turning very slow. All right, so now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead and now we have to mount this in place. How are we gonna do that? Hmm, let's see here. So what I see here, does this slide on anyway? I don't think this slides on anyway here. So let's go ahead and it looks like we're gonna have to unscrew this here. Yep, sure enough, that's what we're doing. So this unscrews, revealing the inside. So this clearly looks like both sides are identical. There we go. And let's put that in place. And it just slips right in there. It's actually easier than I thought. Got a little bit scared there for a moment. Flashback of the uh, rollerblade wheels that are always impossible to remove the bearings and put them back in, but not here. This is very simple actually. All right, so we have the first one in place. Let's go ahead and take this off. So it looks like this is coming to life finally. Let me just kind of wrap these up for a moment. Get this up out of the way. Sure enough, this is moving really fast. And this looks to support quite a bit of weight. All right. Next step will be we'll be mounting some pillars here. So it looks like we'll be mounting them here, here and here. So again, these are called the supporting pillars. the same so probably gonna be mounted as such. 